everyone, my name is Lavish Garg and in today's Learn with Optimizer webinar, we'll be talking about the Amazon Ads capabilities available within Optimizer. We all know that Q4 is a holiday shopping season and therefore I believe that it's extremely important for us that we monitor, optimize and even automate our Amazon Ads campaigns effectively. So that's what we are going to talk about today. So we've categorized this session into four different sections. We'll talk about how you can monitor and analyze the performance of your Amazon Ads campaigns. We'll talk about how you can set up alerts uh, and even a couple of insight tools as well. And uh, then we'll move to the different ways you can optimize your uh, Amazon campaigns using Optimizer. We'll also cover how you can create performance reports uh, using Optimizer reporting. And for the folks who are only managing Amazon Ads accounts, we also have an Amazon standalone plan. And I'll share a bit of information on that towards the end of the session as well. So let's start with the first section on the agenda, how you can monitor and gain insights on your account's performance using Optimizer. So when it comes to monitoring, you can set up a few alerts uh, directly from uh, Optimizer. You can do that from insights. You go to the alerts tool and you click on create new alert, single account alert. And from here, you can select your Amazon Ads account. I currently only have one, but if you're managing multiple Amazon Ads account, you can even select all of them and set up alerts in bulk. So I'll select this one and here you can choose the level. It could be account or even better. You know, you can be a bit more granular and set up uh, alerts at the campaign level as well. I'll select account for now. And in the metric to monitor section, you can see all of these metrics that are available at the moment. So apart from the usual metrics, for instance, clicks, conversions, conversion value, you can quickly set up alerts for them as well. But if you notice something, you will also see that there are a couple of metrics that say custom metric. For instance, uh, average daily spend, CPC percentage, engagement rate. Now these are custom metrics that were added by us in our account in Optimizer. You can do that as well, and you can even set up alerts on them. How you can do that is, you can go back to uh, the Pro Dashboard, you can click on the hamburger menu, and you scroll down to the calculated metrics section, and uh, these are the calculated metrics that we, or custom metrics, same thing, we added them in our account. So in order to do that, you can click on add new and you can give a name to that calculated metric. You add the formula, you specify whether that's a percentage, whether that's a number or currency and you hit add. And if you would like to further understand how to do that, you can click on this I button and it will take you to the help article on how you can quickly add a formula as well. So once you uh, are done with adding a custom metric, you go back to the alerts you select the metric that you would like to add. For instance, I'll say engagement rate, which is a custom metric. Uh, you say with, whether the higher value is better or not. In this case, of course, yes. And you add the deviation and the number of recent days of data you would like to ignore. And you choose the team member to be notified. And one thing that is very important is to add a target. It could be an automatic value, but you know, if you would like to, if you have a specific value in mind as well, you can do that. You can add that value here as well. But in case of automatic, we'll look at the last eight weeks of running data and we'll automatically choose a value for you. So that's how quickly you can set up alerts either for your single accounts or even in bulk across multiple accounts using the alerts functionality here. And uh, a point that I would like to add here is if you're using uh, well, Slack or Microsoft Teams within your uh, organization, you can even link your optimizer account to uh, those tools and receive these notifications instead of email onto Slack or Microsoft Teams. So you can do that by going to the workflow tab and you can use the Slack integration right here. And same goes for uh, Zapier integration. We also have Zapier integration. And if you have some other project management tool and you would like to receive these alert notifications onto that, you can link that uh, tool to Optimizer using Zapier integration as well. So that sums up uh, the first point uh, on how to set up alerts uh, using Optimizer. Let's move on to a different tool. So uh, if I'm on the Pro Dashboard and if I want to dig uh, further into my account's performance, how everything is doing, you can actually click on the account name and I believe it will take you to the account dashboard. Now account dashboard, I would say is like a one-stop destination for you where you can quickly figure out what's going right and what's going wrong in your account. You can see your major performance metrics. You can even uh, do a quick metric comparison between any of the two uh, metrics available here. And you know you have two other quite insightful widgets as well. For instance, looking at your top elements, it could be your top campaigns, ad groups, keywords, or even targets in this case. And you can sort them by any of your important performance metrics. And if you click on the full table, 
you can actually see a much more refined list of uh, campaigns or whichever top element that you're looking at. And same goes for the campaign placements as well. You know, uh, you can click on view, view full table and you'll see all of your placements in your account and you can order them by any of your important performance metrics. So that's how you can actually do, you know, use the account dashboard to quickly gather insights on how uh, the overall account is performing and whether there is something I need to take a closer look at. Moving on, uh, we have uh, the PPC policy and audits too. Now this is uh, a new addition from us. This was earlier available for the Google Ads accounts, but now this is also available for Amazon as well. So uh, you can click on insights and you can access the tool uh, in the P PPC policy and audits. Now, what I would say about PPC policy and audits is, if you would like to do a quick health check on your account, looking at uh, the areas that are concerning, where you might need to take a closer look at, you can quickly set up a PPC policy and audit report. So we already have a sample policy set up for you. And if I collapse all, you can actually see these are the different categories that we're looking at. For instance, uh, we are auditing your account, we're auditing your different campaigns, ad groups, keywords, and everything. So let me expand them. And for instance, at the campaign level, we are looking at campaigns with low ROAS or campaign types active in your account, or even ad groups with too many keywords or too few keywords. Or if I drill down further, you can see that we're also looking at account level ACoS with other performance data and account level ROAS. Or even at the product level, we are checking products not delivering or ASIN present in multiple campaigns and so on and so forth. So there are a lot of audits and you have complete uh, customization control over it. So if you feel that a couple of audits do not make sense to your business, you can consider enabling them, disabling them, or even changing the thresholds. So you can do that. For instance, you know, campaigns with low ROAS, by default, we've added 30%. But if you would like to change the number, you can do that as well. And once you're done, you know, editing the audit, editing the designer, you can click on run now. I think I have it open here. Yeah. So what it will, what will happen is we'll show you a grade performance report. We'll show you what's the overall grade at the account level. And we'll also grade the different PPC categories like we discussed earlier. So how you can get a benefit from this is you can quickly look at those areas where you have a poor grade, poor grade in sense like uh, a B or a C. And you can quickly figure out, okay, these are the things that I need to work upon. And this can actually give you a lot of optimization ideas as well. For instance, uh, let's uh, skim through a couple of uh, areas where we have a poor grade. So I'll say, uh, okay, there are there is an ad group that has less than two negative keywords. Or uh, if I go further down, so, uh, there are five active products that are just not delivering. So you can quickly skim through all of the audits where you have a poor grade and you can quickly get cust uh, optimization ideas. Okay, this is something I need to work upon and quickly figure it out. And once you are done with you know evaluation, you've looked at the account, you can even consider downloading this or saving this as a PDF. And you can even send this a whole report as an email uh, to your colleague. And what I would even uh, suggest to you on top of that is, you can go back to the designer and you can even uh, schedule this report and say, uh, you know, if you evaluate your account's performance once a week or once a month, based on that schedule, you can uh, set up the automation for the PPC policy and audits as well. So you click on save, you click on schedule, and here you can choose uh, the schedule that you would like to go ahead with. You could, uh, it could be every day, weekly or monthly, and you choose the uh, email addresses, you add the email addresses here, and you'll receive the report over email. So that's about uh, the PPC policy and audits tool. Now, you know, uh, let's let's think of a different uh, use case. Let's say that you noticed uh, a big deviation in any of the metrics in your account, or perhaps your client asked a question regarding any of the metrics. How would you answer that? I think we have a very good tool for that, which is called the PPC Investigator tool. So again, you can uh, access this in the Insights section. Uh, insights PPC investigator and again I have it open here now what this tool does is it lets you ask questions to the system so that it can investigate why there was a change in performance for a certain metric over a period of time for instance a good example I can think of, of right now is uh, you know if I want to investigate why did my a cost changed uh, during the last 14 days compared to the previous period you can simply ask this question and hit update you can even uh, change a different change to a different metric, 
you know, change the date range and the comparison period as well. And once you hit update, what will happen is we'll show you a cause and effect chart. The cause and effect chart here is based on the fact that the performance of every metric depends on the performance of its underlying metrics as well. So you can see that your A cost actually increased by 45%. And if it will down further, you'll see that your sales decreased, your cost increased. But if you go down uh, the cost line, you'll see that your clicks have been increasing, your average CPC have also been dropping. And same goes for your, C your CTR has also increased by 20%. So this is how you can quickly drill down to the exact elements that were responsible for an increase or decrease in the performance of a certain metric. And that's how I believe a PPC investigator can really help you understand, okay, this is something which is going wrong in my account. And this is exactly the reason why uh, this is happening. So that's about uh, the PPC investigator tool. And the last insights tool uh, we have that I would love to show you is the performance comparison tool. So again, let me go to this tool. And what performance comparison tool does is it lets you compare any combinations of campaigns or ad groups across different date ranges. You can quickly, uh, you know, kind of see how these two different campaign types or campaigns are uh, uh, comparing each other, comparing with each other. For instance, uh, you can select by simple campaign names or you can select by campaign types as well. Currently, I only have sponsor products, but if you have other campaign types, for instance, sponsor brands, you can think of a use case considering, I would like to compare my sponsor brands campaigns versus sponsor products campaigns. So that could be a quick use case for you as well. Since I have uh, only sponsor products, I'll go with that. And you can choose the, choose the date range. By default, we're looking at last week versus uh, week before last. And once you're done with that, you can hit compare and you'll basically see uh, let me hit compare and this is how you'll see the data you'll see um, you know how impressions clicks average CPC and all conversions compare with each other in terms of different date, range, date ranges that is last week and week before last and you'll also see a percentage change along with the number as well so if you would like to see add a different metric you can do that as well you can go to the hamburger menu uh, you'll need to remove uh, one of the existing metrics because you can only have four metrics at a time for instance, I would like to see my conversion rate. I'll remove all conversions. I'll add conversion rate right here. This is how you can quickly see uh, different metrics uh, on the performance comparison as well. Now, there's no segmentation at the moment, but like I said earlier, you can even see the data at the campaign and ad group level. So you click on this and you can actually set up, uh, you can actually click on campaign and you'll see a much more uh, refined list of campaigns along with all of the relevant information. And same goes for your ad groups as well. And this is how you can quickly change, see, okay, how did my impressions changed during this time or how did my clicks changed or any of the other performance metrics you can select from the hamburger menu. So that's about the performance comparison and uh, that sums up uh, our first section on the agenda, uh, the, you know, gathering insights and how you can set up alerts for your important uh, Amazon campaigns. Let's move on to the next category, how like, different ways on how you can optimize your Amazon ads accounts with Optimize. So for that, the first tool I have is, you can go to optimizations for manual bidding, the suggested bids tool. So I have it open right here. And what suggested bids tool does is, it automatically identifies those keywords that can benefit from a change in bid based on the information provided by the Amazon ads API. So if you look at the screen, we basically have five top suggestions. This means five keywords. Uh, that would benefit, uh, you know, from a bid change. It could be increase in bid or it could be a decrease in bid as well. So uh, we have the current bid, we have the suggested bid, suggested minimum bid and the suggested maximum bid. Make a note that uh, minimum suggested bid and maximum suggested bid is coming from the Amazon Ads API. So by default, what we're doing is we're increasing the suggested bid by 10%. And by doing this, what we're ensuring is that our new bid is more than uh, the suggested minimum bid but also not at par with the maximum suggested bid. So we are in between. And if you look at the uh, suggestions here, for instance, uh, the first keyword digital marketing has a 1.04 of a bid, which is less than the suggested bid. Therefore, adding a 10% increase onto the suggested bid is automatically ensuring that we are in between the minimum and maximum suggested bid. You can even make customizations in this tool. For instance, if you would not like to change the bid or increase the bid by a 10% amount, you can do that. You can click on set bids 
and you can change the percentage here as well. If you would like to be a bit more lenient, you can change it to five or perhaps uh, even 20 if you would like to be a bit more aggressive in this case. And similarly, you also have the option to change the filters. For instance, I would only like to see the keywords that range between this current bid and suggested bid and that accordingly will give you the new suggestions as well. So that's about the suggested bids uh, tool and a quick point that I would like to make here is uh, in almost every tool in Optimizer you'll see uh, the campaign selector menu here and you know by default we'll be looking at the whole account but if you prefer to look at the suggestions for a particular campaign you can select uh, that campaign from this list as well. So yeah, that's about the suggested bits. Let's move on to the next tool we have, uh, the Optimizer Express tool. You can again uh, access this tool in the optimization section, Optimizer Express. What Optimizer Express does is, as the name suggests, it automatically looks at all of your Amazon Ads accounts and it finds the missing opportunities in your accounts. At the moment, we currently support four different um, uh, quick opts in this tool. Uh, those four are adding new keywords, adding negative keywords, pausing non-converting keywords, and even pausing product targets that are just underperforming and are costing you a lot of money. So uh, here you can select uh, the campaigns that you, sorry, the accounts that you would like to look. I'll select Amazon ads. And by default, we'll automatically show you all of the different uh, optimization suggestions that you have. For instance, adding new keywords. I'll select this one. And by default, we'll show you what are the uh, keyword suggestions. And if you hover over it, you'll actually see why we are suggesting you to add that as a positive keyword in your account. We'll show you what are, uh, you know, the campaign and ad group level information along with uh, the clicks and impressions as well. And you can even change the uh, match type from phrase or exact or broad. And once you're done with that, you can hit apply and these new keywords will be added to your campaigns. One another optimization suggestion we have uh, for you is the pause non-converting keywords as well. So again, this looks at uh, your existing keywords in your account, which are just not converting for you. And again, you can hover over on, onto this to get more information on that. And if, it, if you feel that this is actually not worth it, you can even uh, consider pausing it directly from this tool. Now we have one another optimization in, in this tool, which is called, uh, you know, pausing uh, product targets. But unfortunately, we do not have any suggestions for that because it's a demo account. But yeah, if uh, you have a lot of data in your account, we'll automatically pick up that and uh, we'll ask you to pause uh, those product targets that are just costing you a lot of money but are not converting for you. So that's about the Optimizer Express tool and how you, I would say it's like a quick to-do list. And of course, you can come to this tool and make the optimizations within a matter of seconds. Now, the next tool that we have is called the Rule Engine. You might be aware that Rule Engine is Optimizer's custom optimization builder tool where you can quickly create strategies either from the pre-built ones we have or even create uh, from scratch based on your use case. And on top of that, you can automate these strategies to either create a monitoring system for yourself or even let Rule Engine uh, make changes on your behalf. So you can access this tool in Optimizations, Rule Engine, and you can click on View and Create Strategies. So we'll look at a couple of pre-built strategies that we have and uh, we'll see how we can automate them. We'll see how we can customize them as well. So once you go into Rule Engine, you'll have the option to add a new strategy. You can click on add a new strategy, pick optimize a recommended strategy, or even create your own if you have a custom use case. So let me show you the different categories uh, we support in Rule Engine. So uh, in Rule Engine, you can automatically change bids uh, based on a target ROAS or even optimize your search queries, for instance, looking at the best performing search terms or the poor performing search terms, or you know, even uh, quickly reporting on your campaigns, uh, getting a campaign report or even a keyword report. So let me show you how you can quickly change bids based on a target ACOS. So I'll add this into my account. I'll ask for full control because I want to see what exactly are the conditions behind the strategy? What are the rules that we've added? So I'll click on proceed. And this is how the rule looks like. For instance, uh, we are basically looking at two rules here, increasing bids uh, for keywords that have good conversions, but low ACoS. And we're also looking at decreasing the bids uh, for keywords that have good conversions, but high ACoS. So if I go inside one of these rules, we're basically making sure that for those keywords, clicks, spend, and the 14-day total sales should be greater than zero in the last 30 days. We're also making sure that the ACoS should be less than the target ACoS. And again, the 14-day total conversions 
should be greater than the good uh, good convergence threshold now if you look at the target a cos and good convergence threshold this is actually variables that we've added and based on how your account's structure is you can even consider changing them to make sense for your account so for that you can go to settings variables and you can change the target a cos and the good convergence threshold right here once you're done with that and if all of the keywords any of the keywords in your account match all of these conditions what will happen is we'll be uh, set increasing the bids for those keywords and for that we've added an expression that basically considers your existing bid your existing a cos and your target a cos and if i click on this you can even click on edit and if you would like to make changes to the uh, expression you can do that you can set the minimum and maximum bid and that's it i'll click on next and this is the first rule and same goes for our uh, second rule where we are decreasing the bid and in this case we are basically looking at the same set of conditions but the advertising cost your current uh, a cost should be greater than your target a cost and your 14 day total conversion should also be greater than the conversion threshold so let's see if we have any suggestions i'll click on view suggestions and there we are so we have more than 100 uh, suggestions and if you look at this dialog box you can actually see out of 112 there are 96 keywords where we are asking you to increase the bid because the e cost was smaller than uh, the target a cost and there are 16 where we are asking you to decrease the bid because the a cost was uh, greater than the target a cost so that's how uh, you can actually set up the strategy and uh, you know look at the suggestions automatically now if any of these make sense to you you can actually either you know change the bids in bulk or you can select uh, the keywords that make sense to you and you can hit apply now but what i would recommend on top of that is you can automate this and you can just say run this strategy perhaps every week or every month and send me notifications whenever there are suggestions on top of that you can even let rule engine apply the changes automatically on your behalf so that's how you can actually set up strategies in rule engine and even automate them let's actually look at one other another good use case i'll click on add a strategy add a new one pick optimizer recommended strategy and let's say that I would like to make sure that uh, if there are any new search terms or high performing search terms in my account I do not want to miss out on them I want to ensure that those search terms are added as positive keywords in my account for that optimize search queries next and uh, you know I, I'll use the add new keywords pre-built uh, so strategy we have so I'll click on next I'll click on show me optimize those, uh, sorry, give me full control. And yeah, we're basically looking at uh, converting search terms in your account. And we're also looking at search queries that only have a high CTR. And if again, I go inside one of these rules, you can see search term exists as keyword is equal to no. So the first condition is we're basically making sure that you're not adding any duplicates. Then we're also saying that 14 day total conversions should be greater than two. Again, this is a conversion threshold. This is a variable that we've added. Feel free to change it. You can go to settings, variables, and you can change the conversion threshold and the impressions threshold from here. And again, the spend and clicks should be greater than zero. And if all of these conditions are met, we're basically adding that search term as a positive keyword in your account. And same goes for your high CTR rule as well. We're basically checking that the CTR at the search term, CTR for that search term should be greater than CTR for the keyword that it got triggered from. And if that's the case, then impressions should also be greater than 500 for that search term. And that search term again uh, should not be already existing as a positive keyword in our account. And if all of these conditions are met, the action is just include and report. But again, if you, would, if you feel that uh, if the search terms have a good CTR, you would also like to add them as positive keywords, you can do add another action. You can say add keyword, add a positive keyword, and you can choose the phrase map. You can choose the match type, it would be phrase, exact, and even set the bit. I'll uh, just keep it as it is for now. And then you can hit view suggestions button. Okay, so currently we do not have any suggestions at the moment, and that's perfectly fine. What I would say is today you might not have any suggestions, but tomorrow you might have seven days from now, a month from now, you might have some high performing search terms in your account. So what would be a good idea in this case is you can automate the strategy again and have it run in the back end. And Rule Engine will automatically notify you whenever a month from now, two months from now, whenever it detects that there are high performing search terms in your account. So I think this is very good and can uh, you know you can actually set up a notification or monitoring system uh, using Rule Engine 
and get notifications whenever uh, something is happening where you need to be notified immediately. Cool. So uh, that's about rule engine and that concludes uh, the second section of our uh, agenda, how the different ways you can optimize your Amazon ads accounts with Optimizer. Let's talk about how you can report or how you can create performance reports uh, for your Amazon ads accounts. And for that purpose, um, you can go to reports. You can click on multi-account reports. And and here you can uh, create a new custom template. I'll say multi-account, of course. I'll say Amazon report and create. And here you can create, uh, you know, reports, either multi-account reports where you have, for instance, a client where you advertise uh, on multiple platforms, Google, Microsoft, or Amazon. But if you only have, uh, you know, clients that only advertise on Amazon, you can uh, create reports on that as well. So the first step in terms of creating reports for Amazon is you select the accounts that you would like to consider in your report. For that, you go to report selectors and you add the account currently because we are in an amazon account this is already added but if you would like to also include a google ads account you can do that as well so i'll just say i want to add our optimizer demo account and then you add the date ranges that you would like to consider i've added last month this is by default and the month before last so i'll leave it as it is and i'll click on the cross button and this is your cover page. You can add your top logo. You can add your bottom logo. Give the report title a name. Um, even stylize the report. Once you're done with that, let's start adding the widgets. So I'll click on add widget. And uh, because we are creating a multi-account report, I'll say that I would like to create, I would like to add multi-account multi KPI widget, a multi-account summary widget as well. And if I want to, I know, kind of take a deep dive into my Amazon's performance, I can go to the Amazon uh, section as well and I'll choose uh, the Amazon Insights uh, widget. So I've selected three widgets and I'll add them. And there we go. We have uh, the report ready. Uh, like I said earlier, this is a demo account, so we won't see much data, but I believe for Amazon, we do have a few data. For instance, uh, you know, multi-account KPI, this is how, uh, if I click on this, you can actually see what exactly are we considering in this. So if you look at the campaign selector, uh, you can select uh, your uh, Amazon ads account and the Google ads account as well and will automatically uh, add the data for you and will show you uh, all of the key performance indicators. And here are the columns. Currently, there are 11 selected. You can uh, remove them. You can add new ones as well. And same goes for the multi-account summary as well. I'll click on this first. I'll need to uh, apply and uh, the data will automatically update for you. And same goes for the multi-account summary. Currently, we're only looking at your Amazon ads account, but you can even add your Google ads account as well. And similarly, uh, for Amazon Insights, at the moment, uh, we're looking at uh, your campaigns, but you can be a bit more granular in this case as well. You can set up uh, reports for your ad groups, keywords, search terms, or even product targeting. So I'll say I want to look at my product targeting, and uh, yeah, these are all of the different stats that I've uh, selected. You can even click on add items to add, add different attributes or different performance metrics. For instance, I will say, I also want to look at my CPC and CTR. I'll add that, even uh, different orders, conversions, or even sales in this case. And I'll add the selections. And the data will automatically update. Uh, you have a couple of other um, options, for instance, uh, selecting, the, selecting a suitable date range and then you can hit apply. And yeah, data will automatically get updated and this is how you will be able to create Amazon, uh, you, know, you know, kind of reports, performance reports using different widgets. I only added three widgets, but of course you have a lot of widgets that you can play ahead with and kind of get the data that you're looking for. And yeah, once you're done with the report designer, you can click on preview and uh, uh, let's just wait for it to load. And yeah, this is how the report would look like. You have your multi-account KPI that includes the data from your Google Ads accounts and your Amazon Ads account. You have the multi-account summary and your Amazon insights. And looking at the report actions, you can even 
email this as a PDF or download this as a PDF as well. And uh, you can even, uh, let me show you, automate this uh, report to uh, you know, send this to a client or perhaps for internal use as well. For that, you can go to uh, the reports section, multi-account reports, and you'll basically see all of your templates right here. And you can click on the three dots and you can click on view and schedule report. So that's all about the Amazon reporting and that sums up our third section of the agenda. Now the last one is about the Amazon standalone plan. So if uh, you know, you're only managing Amazon ads accounts and not any other platform, Optimizer also supports an Amazon standalone plan. And uh, you know, all of the features that I showed you today are available in that Amazon standalone plan. And uh, the price, uh, the subscription starts from uh, $79 per month. And uh, yeah, you feel free to start a uh, free 14 day trial and you can try out, of, try out all of these tools and uh, make a decision accordingly. And yeah, that's all about uh, the session today. I hope uh, the session was helpful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to support at optimizer.com. Uh, we'll be more than happy to help you. Till then, thank you.